quite a while. So it's really nice to come to see everybody once again. A lot of familiar faces here, so I, I really appreciate the opportunity to speak to council. My issue tonight is about the hotel steward as well. As a, a county official, as well as a resident of, uh, a former resident of Westbury City. My concern is the hotel sterling is not owned by the city, nor is it owned by the county. Yet the city has done wonderful things to try and make sure that people are safe by putting Jersey barriers around in case that building collapses since the last uh, flooding that we had. And it was a big concern by the city that somebody could drive by there and end up getting hurt. That's certainly commendable to the city. However, the residents of the city are bearing the cost of that. My concern for that is that if the residents are bearing the cost of the city of, of paying the Jersey barriers as well as the plywood, as Mr. Shiner just alluded to, the, council, the city's going to have to pay for that. Why is the city best responsible for that? That's their problem. And I certainly understand the city has an obligation to want to condemn it to make sure it stays safe. And I certainly think that's a good idea to do that. But this cost is being passed on to the taxpayers, not only from the city side, but also if the building has to be ripped down, it's going to be a cost by the county. It seems that city best has been given a walk on this whole issue. I think that's unfair to the people of the county. I think it's unfair to the people of the city. If, in fact, it's a mystery developer, and we don't even know who the mystery developer is, is there any monetary guarantee from this mystery developer that he's actually going to do anything with his property once he's, once this demolition takes place and the, and the lot's clear? Is there any kind of monetary guarantee that he's going to stick around, or is he just going to say, well, it was real nice to make this proposal, but I'm really not interested in it anymore? That's my first concern, because then, then the county, obviously, is going to end, end up on an empty piece of parcel and a property that's going to be zoned and possibly not going to be able to be developed based on zoning laws by the city. My other concern is when the, when the property is actually emptied and the building is torn down, is the city going to place a lien against that property to say that the, uh, anybody who develops that is going to be responsible to pay that money back to the city, which is a valid concern for the residents of the city. Somebody needs to pay that money back. It should not be the taxpayers of the city to pay that. However, I don't think that the proper avenue is to make the taxpayers of the county or anybody else or the developer responsible. The city best should be responsible. I understand they don't have any money, and I understand it's going to be close to a bankruptcy situation for them as well. You can't get blood out of the stone. But we could get blood out of the stone from uh, quite a few of the other residents of the city. Uh, River Street properties, uh, uh, city, the, 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 uh, the Perry Block property, all of those buildings were all buildings that the city put liens against and recovered their money. I'm concerned about is the city going to do that for this property when the buildings are down? And then the county's going to be stuck paying that money back as well because the city has a vested interest in getting their money. And, and rightly so. You have money invested in it. So if anybody can, and I, you know, as a county official, I, I'm not privy to the agreement, but I would certainly like to know what the liability is to the county residents. If in fact that building comes down, we end up owning the property, is the city going to put a lien against that property? We're going to be responsible for that as a county before we can develop that property. So I think that's all issues for the council to consider before you do this resolution and issues that need to be certainly ironed out and, and solidified so people know exactly what direction the city's going in, exactly what city the county's going in, and the city best is held accountable for their mis, mis, uh, guidance and, and uh, misappropriation of funds for that building. I'm really concerned about the fact that everybody's going to take the, the cost on this except for the people that are responsible for it. And I would expect, I would ask council to consider that before this resolution be called. Thank you. Good to see you, Mayor. <coughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Thank you.